In this video, I'll be showing you how to create the split screen using DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So now I have three clips and it's on a 1080p timeline. Now you can see my timeline settings is right here. Uh, it's for vertical resolution. It's 1080 by 1920. So this is the resolution for Insta Reels. So now you want uh, these three clips to be stacked one top of the other. So let me do that like this. Okay, and uh, maybe make everything the same length. And now you can see that only the top clip is playing here because you know, it's on top of the other two. So here what you have to do is click on the first clip and uh, instead of you know manually playing with the position on where you have to keep the the first clip there is an easier way uh, because you know while doing this you need to do a bit of math to know where exactly it should align so instead of that what you can do is come to effects right here and select open effects and in the search you type in collage and just drag it on top of this particular clip let me just disable these two clips for now so it will be easier to know now once i do that you know it looks something like this don't worry under inspector just come to effects and under video collage you can see workflow is create background change it to create tile now it looks something creepy like this we can fix it easily for that what i have to do is now this is going to be uh, three rows and one column for that i'm going to enter here three and sorry column should be one and row should be three then i'm going to make the margins zero i don't want the left right margins it's up to you if you want you can add it but i'm going to leave it zero the top and bottom margin also I'm going to leave it at zero then the horizontal spacing also zero vertical spacing also zero now you can see this yellow bar here because the video is uh, a bit zoomed out so you can come here and just zoom in like this and now you can see the corners are a bit rounded also so that also you can just uh, you know make it zero like this now what you have to do is uh, instead of applying to each of this individually what I can do is just copy right click copy and then right click paste attributes and you just need to select plugins and press apply now nothing is coming because the exact same setting of this is applied to this but we want that clip to come in the middle for that what i have to do is come to effects come to tiles and i want to change it to tile 2 again there is yellow bars so i can just zoom in a bit like this all right now the exact same thing i can do here right click paste attributes plugins and this time i want the tiles to be tile 3 and then i can zoom in again so now you have this nice precise stacked layout for instagram so there you have it uh, you can make it as many stacks as you want you know i made it three now if you want to make it four or five you come here you adjust the row size accordingly now i have three so i made it three now you need five you put here five now let me take a brief moment to discuss something with you if you want to create text like this you know i use a platform called easy edit they have such amazing test effects on their platform they have been kind enough to send me it for free and i've been trying it ever since now easy edit is also launching a new product called easy edit stock so let me show you what that is. Do you want to elevate your video editing game? Find all you need on Easy Edit Stock. Templates, text effects, presets. Discover a world of versatile assets for your next video.
You can find all the details and the link in the description. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of time, you know, making text effects, text templates and all other things. It's just drag and drop and it's very easy to use. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. For those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. And thank you once again, Easy Edit for making my editing workflow very easy.